I uh, firstly, I would like uh, to apologize because I will read my presentations because for me it's much better to uh, to do my considerations reading that talk and in English. Okay. Um, uh, good afternoon. Uh, initially, I would like to thank the Cell Science Meeting organi uh, organizer for the opportunity to present my studies and my considerations regarding the potential impact of superoxide hydrogen peroxide imbalance on cell dysfunction, cancer, senescence, and regenerative therapies. As we know, the energy production by aerobic organisms involves oxygen and glucose usually obtained from diet. The ATP is produced from several biochemical reactions that take place inside the mitochondria. However, about 5% of oxygen is transformed in superoxide anion, a reactive oxygen species. Dr. Bovary named electron leak the process that leads the superoxide production. As superoxide is continually produced, the cells have an endogenous antioxidant system to control the superoxide levels. This system involves the actions of superoxide dismutase enzymes that turn superoxide anion into hydrogen peroxide. Further, hydrogen peroxide is catalyzed to water by catalase or glutathione peroxidase enzymes, depending on each cellular compartment. We also have an exogenous antioxidant system, which involves molecules usually obtained from diet rich in fruit and vegetables. The cellular control of superoxide anion and hydrogen peroxide concentration is considered crucial to the cell because at a low concentration, hydrogen peroxide can work on intracellular cycling, whilst at right levels, its molecule can cause cellular dysfunction and senescence. Therefore, alterations in this antioxidant equation can trigger oxidative stress that is related to risk of several chronic diseases. Previous epidemiological investigations reported associations between a genetic polymorphism located in SOD2 gene with several chronic degenerative diseases. This genetic variation is no all 16 vol gene SOD2 gene polymorphism. SOD2 is a nuclear gene located in chromosome 6. Initially, it produced an inactive SOD2 protein that contains a mitochondrial target sequence, which triggers the SOD2 protein inside the mitochondria. And this organelle, SOD2, becomes an active enzyme. In human beings, the all 16 val SOD2 polymorphism changes an alanine amino acid to valine in 16 code. These substitutions cause a change in SOD2 protein destruction, and for this region, ALL presents 40% high SOD2 enzyme activity. Therefore, AA genotype is able to catalyze high concentrations of superoxide anion and hydrogen peroxide when compared to VV genotype. However, the increase in this region did not affect the levels of glutathione peroxidase enzyme. As a consequence, it triggers increase of hydrogen peroxide levels. So the excess of hydrogen peroxide cross over the mitochondrial membrane and react with metal ions such as iron, producing hydroxyl radicals that cause genetic instability and increase the risk of cancer. Differently from AA genotype, VV genotype has been associated with metabolic diseases and it produces a beta sheet SOD2 protein that is partially arrested to mitochondrial membrane. For this region, VV carriers present high levels of superoxide anion that react with nitric oxide, producing several oxidative molecules uh, like uh, peroxide nitrate that cause lipoperoxidations and cellular dysfunction. 
Our previous investigations show the associations between VV genotype with high oxi oxidized LDL levels, hypercholesterolemia, obesity, inflammatory biomarkers, and our regulations of SOD2 gene expression in young subjects that performed intense aerobic exercise. Further, we observed high immunosenescence biomarkers, high DNA, DNA, DNA damage, and high high breast and processed cancer in AA subjects. Two results found by us were particularly intriguing. Although you have found association between AA genotype and high breast cancer risk, a complementary study performed in women with breast cancer showed that VV genotypes present high risk to develop metastasis after chem chemotherapy. This result was also described by other authors as Dr. Christine Ambrosoni from Canada, who performed the prospective investigations of human affected by breast cancer undergoing chemotherapy. This author reported that VV human with breast cancer present higher mortality risk than AA carriers. These two studies have played an important role in the focus of our current research performed by my lab, which now investigated the effect of superoxide hydrogen peroxide imbalance on specialized cells like, uh, uh, such as lymphocytes, adult stem cells, and cancer cells. In order to, e to study the impact of superoxide hydrogen peroxide balance on cells, we established two in vitro experimental models. The first one involves the use of pharmacological drugs that cause superoxide hydrogen peroxide imbalance, whereas the other ones involve the study of human cells carries different A16 VAL genotypes. In our uh, pharmacological model, we use uh, Paraquat as as a superoxide donor, uh, porphyrin as a SOD2-like molecule, and sodium nitroprusside as a nitric oxide uh, donor. We also perform investigations involving Brazilian plants that present SOD2-like or glutathione-like compounds. Uh, in our, uh, uh, in our in vitro SOD2 study, we firstly genotyped 200 subjects. After that, we selected a subsample with similar lifestyle, ethnical, ethnical and uh, social democratic characteristics. These volunteers were invited to donate more blood sample to perform in vitro protocols. Before blood collections, we asked the volunteers to avoid the consumption of antioxidant and supplement foods uh, in order to decrease the potential interference of environmental variables. The mononuclear cells are both obtained and maintained for 24 hours in the same cultures uh, to uniform the oxidative uh, conditions. We also use the same uh, model to analyze the adipocyte stem cells now. Uh, after all, the cells were submitted to different treatments. Just a minute. So far, we performed several studies using in vitro SOD2 experimental models. The main results showed that this polymorphism has potential toxicogenetic, pharmacogenetic, and nutrigenetic effects, uh, as we can uh, read uh, uh, from these studies published in previously in the literature. We also uh, investigated if this polymorphism could affect the cell senescence. Previous studies performed by our team observed that, in general, AA presents higher proliferative rate than VV cells. However, an unpublished study suggested that rather than VV cells are able to maintain for much longer its proliferative capacity. In this case, VV cells trained to present the telomerase gene ep epiregulated in six hour cultures and in 15 days cultures than AA and AV cells. These studies are in consonance of previous investigations that observe high immunosenescence biomarkers in AA cells when compared to VV cells and with studies that observe resistance of VV cells to expositions of anti-inflammatory drugs.
um, we also uh, analyze the effect of superoxide, hydrogen peroxide imbalance on cancer by using our pharmacological model. Preliminary results suggest that pharmacological agonists of VV and AA genotypes are able to induce apoptosis of colorectal cancer cells. After 24 hours of exposition, both paraquat and porphyrin caused cell mortality. This effect was similar to observed one cells treated of oxaliplatin, a chemo drug. This study also showed the influence of superoxide hydrogen peroxide imbalance over the response of colorectal cancer cells uh, to oxaliplatin. Cells concomitantly exposed to oxaliplatin and high superoxide levels from paraquat presented high antiproliferative rate than cells treated only with oxaliplatin. Uh, or treat or with porphyrin. These results reinforce the relevance of superoxide hydrogen peroxide imbalance on proliferative and apoptotic control of cancer cells. We also believe that superoxide hydrogen peroxide imbalance and not only hydrogen peroxide could have an important effect on adult stem cells use it to tissue to potentially use it to tissue regeneration. Generally, mesenchymal stem cells are in low number in body tissues, and for such a reason, these cells need to be expanded in vitro before the transplantation to regenerate the damaged organs. However, for several times, this process can lead to cell senescence, result in declines of differentiation and of proliferative capacities. The evidence obtained from both animal and clinical studies show that there, they, there are the major concerns ab about the mesenchymal stem cells implantation. Recent investigations uh, published in the literature have suggested that the modulations of hydrogen peroxide can play an important role in in vitro mesenchymal stem cells proliferation. However, some authors consider controversial the use of the hydrogen peroxide to induction of uh, proliferative stem cells because uh, this uh, molecule can cause uh, DNA chromosomal instability. I started performing out in, in, in my, okay, just a minute. Uh, I studied performing in my lab by my shadow showed that despite a hydrogen peroxide exposition triggers cell proliferation of adipocyte stem cells also cause important DNA damage. And this result is relevant since we don't want to introduce in our body uh, cells with chromosomal instability. The genomic damage can inhib in inhibit the differentiation process ever turn to cancer. We also performed a complementary study. Uh, we also performed a complementary study of effect of food with SOD2 activity like uh, in the stem cells and, in, in, and use the guarana, a uh, richest uh, fruit used in energetic beverage supplements here in the United States of America and another place. And uh, we uh, observed that the, this this uh, extract can modulate differentially uh, embryonary stem cells uh, lines uh, exposed to high levels of oxidative stress. A recent study performed by our team also uh, observed that the um, supplementations of antioxidant compounds in cells after seventh or eighth passage could, uh, can to decrease the senescence mar markers that is generally observed in this phase of the culture. Uh, using uh, senescence adipocyte stem cells derived from lipos human lipoaspirates. 
By taking into account the results produced by our, re by our research, by our investigations published in the literature, we believe that superoxide hydrogen peroxide balance or imbalance plays an important role in the cell biology and have a pleiotrop effects on cell proliferation and senescence, mainly in, in stem cells. Therefore, our results highly enlighten the relevance of superoxide hydrogen peroxide balance and not only hydrogen peroxide as published uh, in this moment in the literature on cell biology. And we believe that concomitant management of superoxide and per hydrogen peroxide level could be an important tool to improve the safety and the efficiency in the uh, general cell uh, uh, cell stem cell regenerative therapies, uh, considering that metabolism, oxidative metabolism is general for all cells. Thank you very much, and please apologize because I have so <laughs> difficult to speak here. Okay, thank you. AA present an intermediary uh, uh, um, production of, of uh, superoxide dismutase enzymes. Uh, we believe that in the ancient times, uh, everybody was uh, V-V genotype uh, in human beings. So human beings have a, a low levels of SOD2 activity. But the A allele that present a high SOD2 efficiency uh, was fixed in the human populations. And now, perhaps 6% of population have a AV, heterozygo genotype, that is a balanced SOD2. And uh, about 16% 16 per, uh, 6, uh, 16 have a VV genotype that present high levels of superoxide annual because the enzyme is less e e efficient and another one's AA. AA, risk with cancer. VV, risk of metabolic disease. It's very interesting. Heterozygous have, uh, uh, have the half alpha helix protein, SOD2, and half beta sheet protein. So uh, have... Um, um, Middle, a uh, middle. Uh, in, term, uh, in, term, uh, in terms of cancer, well, um, uh, Christian Ambrosone for the first uh, 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 research that published the association with AALL, two alleles with high cancer. Uh, AAV, no, no, AV is good. And uh, we published uh, some studies involving the associations of VV genotype with hypercholesterolemia, um, and obesity and other groups, research groups, have uh, have uh, published the associations with diabetic complications, like nephropathies and retinopathies, with this uh, this uh, this uh, uh, genetic uh, polymorphism. Because SOD2 is considered a lethal gene, because if you don't produce SOD2 enzyme, we die. It's impossible to live. You check the level of expression of your A. Level of expression about of expression of your different of your two variants. I don't. I don't know if I understand you. If we check you, you the level you, of uh, of I, the of ex expression, you know, you have uh, an A polymorphism. Yeah. But uh, this allele, depending on the people, can make a certain amount of enzyme depending on how it is expressed. Ah, uh, yeah. Same well, for uh, the V, did you check that? Yes, the, the, this this check was made uh, performed by other authors previously, um, about uh, twenty years ago. Use and knock out uh, gene uh, um, mice, knock out mice that and uh, that uh, measure that, for example, AA genotype have a uh, forty percent higher. Uh, uh, SOD2 enzyme efficiency than the VV. And, and uh, we also measure the levels of these enzymes. 
activity or expression? Sorry. Uh, uh, expression and activity. Expression. Okay. Sorry. This, uh, sorry, because for me sometimes it's very difficult to understand. Yes, we we measure the gene expression using RT PCR. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doctor.